Top 7 Best Motherboard for Ryzen 7 5700 in 2022 Through extensive research and testing, I have put together the list of options that will meet the need of different types of buyers. For more information, I have put links of products in the description. Make sure to check it out. Like the video, comment, don't forget to subscribe, and let's get started. Number 7. Asus TUF Gaming B550M When it comes to motherboard form factor, many PC builders think Micro ATX to be perfect as it gives you the middle ground between ATX and many ATX options. They carry beefier specs than MITX boards and are smaller than full ATX models. Being generally cheaper than their ATX slash mini ITX siblings, such boards are generally sought after by budget users. These are the reasons why our next pick is the Asus TUF Gaming B550 Plus, a B550M ATX board. The first thing you'll note here are the relatively smaller VRM heatsinks on the top area. This board comes with an 8 plus 2 power configuration with 50 of Vishay 6639 MOSFETs. While this is not the best power delivery combo in the market, it'll be good enough for overclocking 5600G and 5700G APU. The left he thinks is further extended over to the rear I slash O panel and has some yellow slash gray patterns on top that blend well with the black slash gray color scheme on the PCB. Number 6. ASRock B550M The ASRock B550M ITX slash AC is the first motherboard in this roundup. At first glance, it may look weird to you. No, it's not the 6 plus 2 VRM setup, smaller VRM heatsink, or single latch design of dim slots. All of them can be justified by the lower price tag this MOBO comes with. Instead, it's the placement of the 8-pin CPU connector on the rear I slash O panel. And it doesn't end here. It comes with three 4-pin fan headers. Two of them can be found above the socket area, while the last one is located on the bottom right area. The 24-pin ATX connector and solder ports are placed on the right side of those dim slots. Again, a poor design choice. Below these connectors, you'll get USB 3.0 header, a USB 2.0 header, and the front panel header. It comes with single PCIe X16 slot, without any steel reinforcement that can be found on the bottom area. Number 5. Gigabyte X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi X570 Aorus Pro Wi-Fi is very similar in design with the B550 Aorus Pro AC but the VRM is somewhat different. The components are different although both feature 14 power stages. Here the X570 board is rated at 40 at each power stage which is lower than the Aorus Pro AC but as the components are from different companies. X570 is still as good as the other mid and X570 boards. In my opinion, it is good for overclocking after MSI X570 Tomahawk Wi-Fi. Moreover, its design is fantastic with additional decoration. Unlike most motherboards, it has a quality fin array aluminium he thinks over the VRM along with a grooved one. Both the M2 connectors also use a heatsink, and the first two PCIe X16 slots use steel armor for more strength. At the I-O, it comes with Tex USB ports, an inbuilt Wi-Fi adapter, and an LAN port that supports 1 GBE of bandwidth. In case you want a better overclocker and better components, then you may go with the X570 Aorus Master which will cost you $100 more but provides uncompromised performance for a processor like Ryzen 5700G. Number 4. MSI MAG X570 Tomahawk Wi-Fi The MAG X570 Tomahawk Wi-Fi is a fantastic motherboard that is the most perfect for Ryzen 5700G considering the requirements and cost. It has a solid 14 power phase VRM where each power stage can handle up to 60 of current making a total of 840 in total. It is very much capable of strong level of overclocking and falls just below the enthusiast level motherboards. As compared to the B550 chipset, this X570 is way better in components compatibility and features dual PCI EX16 Gen 4 slots that support higher bandwidth. For storage, there are six auto ports and dual M2 connectors whereas, for peripheral connectivity, there are a total of 8X USB ports including a Type-C and dedicated BIOS USB port. It also features inbuilt Wi-Fi 6 adapter and a 2.5G LAN for fast speed internet. And for troubleshooting, it is equipped with easy debug LED just like every other MSI motherboard that is a great addition 
For those who own a PC case with the front panel USB Type-C connector, then there is good news for them as it features a Type-C header too. On number 3, Asus ROG Strix B550F Gaming Wi-Fi. ROG Strix B5. 150F Gaming Wi-Fi is nearly as good as the Gigabyte Eorus Pro AC. There are some little differences between the two, but overall both are best for under $200. The B550F Gaming Wi-Fi comes with inbuilt Wi-Fi 6 adapter and a 2.5D LAN just like the above two motherboards. There's also a BIOS flashback button and USB dedicated to installing the latest BIOS version on the A-O. For overclocking, it features a solid 14 power phase VRM cooled by dense heat sinks. These VRM power stages are capable of handling 50 in each phase. Hence, it is not as good as the Eorus Pro AC but will be sufficient for an intermediate level of overclocking. The good thing, however, is that it contains Asus Q LED for troubleshooting. These are the same as on MSI motherboards which are known as EC Debug LED. These are absent on the Aorus Pro AC and therefore, this board does have one advantage over the Gigabyte board. Other features are up to the expectations and make it an ideal board for Ryzen 5700G. MSI MAGX 570 Tomahawk Number 2. Gigabyte B550 Aorus Pro AC Gigabyte's B550 Aorus Pro AC is baddest B550 motherboard available. This is not the most expensive but still the best value motherboard for its price. It has a strong 14 power stage VRM that is cooled by dense aluminium fins that cover the entire VRM area. Over it is the I-O cover that features a single line of RGB LED. The board excels in everything except for the onboard troubleshooting feature. It can support up to 128 GB of RAM with up to 5,200 MHz of clock speed and features triple PCIe X16 slots for graphics cards. In between, lie dual PCIe zone slots for expansion cards. The good thing is that you won't be needing any PCI Wi-Fi card as it comes with an inbuilt Wi-Fi adapter and a 2.5 ELA and for fast speed internet. Number 1. MSI MPG B550 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi MSI brings the most varieties in every chipset. MSI has multiple series like MEG, MAG, MPG, etc. For different budgets, the MPG category is one of the affordable series that features good value specs without breaking the bank. Here in this particular series, MPG B550 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi is currently one of the best budget value B550 motherboards. The reason is its 14 power phase VRM, each of which is able to handle up to 60 of current. The heatsinks over them are just fine. Not too good, but should be able to control the temperature with an intermediate level of overclocking. It has a total of 8x fan headers, including CPU and AIO headers that makes it perfect for installing multiple fans without any need for a fan op. For troubleshooting, it comes with easy debug LED that most motherboards from other manufacturers lack, and this is very helpful when the system doesn't boot. Also, at the I-O, there's a dedicated USB port and button for BIOS flashback. Unfortunately, there aren't as many USB ports for connecting a lot of peripherals, but it does feature an inbuilt Wi-Fi 6 adapter and a fast 2.5 GLAN without much increase in the cost. So guys, that's all for the top 7 best motherboard for Ryzen 7 5700 in 2022. The links of all products are given in the description, which are updated for the best prices. Subscribe our channel for more videos. We will meet in next video till then take care, bye.